Man, it's hard to believe I got this thing for $1,400. You may notice I have a new trailer. It has new bunks, uh, good tires, new wiring harness, new lights. Yeah, that's about the only thing good about it. You can obviously tell it was pieced together by another boat trailer. So all this was extended out. And these, these double axles are obviously for something else. They just welded them on, but I think it will work. I needed a trailer right away because I sold my original trailer two weeks ago. I really needed a trailer so I just had the fine one that came up. I sold my trailer two weeks ago and it's been on jack stands ever since. So I was really wanting to find one because last time these were on jack stands, bad stuff happened. So really needed to find one. I read all your comments about just adding another axle underneath my current one at the time. Uh, but it's not that simple. I did more research into it and you actually need ones that work together like a tandem tandem axle. So you see how these kind of work together. Uh, I priced it all out and it didn't really make financial sense to do all that work to my current trailer. I could just sell that trailer, make a little bit of money and buy one that and then I'd actually save money doing it that way. Um, it didn't work out like that because as soon as I sold my trailer, all the other Tina Maxwell trailers sold the same day basically. So I didn't, I wasn't able to buy any for a good price. So what I'm hinting at is I paid too much for this. I, I shouldn't have paid as much as I did for this, but I really needed a trailer. So I kind of just had to bite the bullet and buy one. And actually yesterday, one, another one came up for sale for like $500, which I was really, un it's really unfortunate because I would have hopped on that right away. These bunks are a little bit too wide for my pontoon, so I'm going to go ahead and try to narrow them in a little bit. They're just on U-bolts, so it shouldn't be too hard. Get that done, and then we can try to get it underneath the pontoon, get it back on a trailer. I don't like it on these. Tell you what, that was the most stressful thing I've done in a while. <laughs> I've done some stressful stuff too, but that really tops it right now. I was just so paranoid the whole time I was gonna mess up, knock one of the jacks off, and the whole thing would fall. I would ruin my motor, and I was gonna put my motor up on, or uh, the tilt all the way up. I just had to turn the battery on to do it, and I didn't want to get up in the boat and be swaying around trying to turn it on. So I was just being very careful. It took me, no joke, four hours to do this. Four hours <laughs> to move it that much. And I didn't even get it all the way on. I just got it on enough that way it would actually sit because it was it was getting really hard. You saw how many blocks I had to put underneath the jack stand just to get it high enough to get it on here. And it was just, the jacks were at the max. I had four blocks. I actually ran out of blocks because I actually needed probably one more on each little corner. And it was, yeah, it was a struggle. 
I'm definitely not doing this again. It is going in the water if I have to take it off and do something to the trailer. <laughs> I'm, I'm not putting it up on jack stands again because I was just super stressful. All right, I'm just gonna wait for my surprise to come in. It should be delivered any minute now, so stay tuned. Here it is, I got it. I got a third pontoon for my pontoon boat, which now I guess is a tritune. Now there's lots of reasons to add a third pontoon to your pontoon to make it a tritune. <laughs> Does that make sense? <laughs> my main focus was, cause I added so much weight, I was just sitting so low in the back, so I really needed something else to help me float. And that's where this came in. This is Pontoon Wholesaler's third pontoon kit. It comes with everything you see here and everything you need to install a third pontoon on your pontoon boat. And it makes it very easy. Now let me tell you why. Here it is, that's all you need to make your pontoon a tritune. <laughs> I'm just kidding, there's actually two more pieces that link together almost like a puzzle piece. You may be wondering what this is. This is actually my railing. This railing attaches to your cross beams underneath your pontoon. You just drill holes and bolt it up. And this railing actually holds these pontoons. I actually have four pontoons for my kit. And they just slide in. You have a front stop and a back stop. And it's basically that simple. It's super easy to install. Hopefully I can install this all by myself. Now my kit is the 13 foot six inch one. They have multiple other kits. Pretty much anything you need for your size pontoon. Uh, have, they have a couple a little bit smaller than this and then I think they have multiple that are way bigger. Uh, I measured them out, I talked to them, they recommended this one for me. It will fit in there nicely. Uh, should have a good amount of playroom. My rest of my hardware is in here. Got my bolts. Uh, over here is my front and back stop. Yeah, it's super easy. I think all this only weighed like 300 pounds, which is really nothing. Probably even less than that actually. There's other reasons to add a third pontoon to your boat other than just a weight thing, which is the main reason I'm adding it, but there's other benefits to it. One is getting on plane easier. If you have like a pretty fast pontoon boat and you have a problem getting on plane, a third pontoon makes that definitely easier. Also another huge benefit is the turning radius is much smaller. You can actually turn a lot easier with a third pontoon. I actually had a long talk with the original designer of these and he knows so much about pontoons, like a, like a crazy amount. He, yeah, it was very fun to talk to him. He actually worked with the original designer of pontoons and yeah, back in like the 1950s, I think it was. He knows his stuff, guys. <laughs> he knows exactly what to do to design these, so I have no doubt these are gonna work perfectly. Uh, I hope I can talk to him again, because he was really fun to talk to, super knowledgeable. I can ask him literally any question, and he'll know the answer to it. Now, I would go ahead and start installing these. Problem is, it's already nighttime, and I also want to get some before and after shots. I want to know how fast I can go without this kit, and then obviously with the kit afterwards. Also, I want to get like, an overhead view of my turning radius with my drone, and also show like the how low it sits in the back before, and obviously after I put the pontoon kit on it. I want to get the whole before and after shots. So tomorrow, we're going to take the pontoon boat out, get all that stuff done, get all the stats written down, and then we'll throw this on. Shouldn't take very long. <laughs> Honestly, shouldn't take as long as putting the trailer underneath it, because that took forever. But we're gonna get that installed, and yeah, I'm really excited to put this on. I think it's gonna be a whole lot of fun.
We had a really fun night last night and that was the last time this boat's gonna have two pontoons. So today we're putting on the third pontoon. I got a little bit before and after. Let me go over this with you. It's a little before and after test. I didn't fill out all the information mainly because I don't know a lot of it. Uh, I'll figure out the pitch and stuff later on. It's not like, I don't think it's super important right now. But I got my no load information with like the whole 1000 RPMs. It was four miles per hour. So I got like top speed at different RPMs. I couldn't go much above the 4500. I went to like 4700 RPMs. So I just left it at 45. My top speed was about 22 miles per hour against the wind. So I had it up to 25 miles per hour once. And yeah, that was about as fast as I could get it up to. And that was with only me on it. And we'll learn all this information too once we put the third pontoon on. So, with that being said, whoops, <laughs> with that being said, let's get to installing the third pontoon. Well, that was super easy to install. It took only three hours by myself to do it. Very easy. Now, I read the instructions they emailed me and I also watched on their YouTube channel the installation videos they have. Super helpful. There's really nothing to this, so honestly, you can pretty much do it without even having instructions. It's very minimal, so you can honestly figure it out by yourself. What's great about these pontoons, I don't have to have another bunk for the trailer. It just free floats there. There's one little tricky thing though, uh, I had to do something with this. It's a little bit too skinny. It's gonna hit the pontoon. So I don't know if I can maybe move the wood over or maybe I have to cut this off and make it a little bit longer so it goes out a little bit further over here. Another thing I need to add is another U-bolt. I already ordered one. I just need to attach it up here because my old one was underneath and I obviously can't get to that anymore. So I need to put a new one up here. I'm excited to take it out tomorrow and see how well it does. Hopefully it makes a big difference.
Now, I want you all to know, I would never lie to you. This thing made a huge difference. Like, noticeably different as soon as I put it in the water. It sat up so high. Like, I didn't realize how low my front end was before. It was, like, really ridiculous how high it was. Like, I didn't, I didn't know it was supposed to be that high. All right, let me show you all, like, the stats I did, because it's kind of interesting. Got a little wet, but... I tore this piece of paper off because I could only light my fire pit. I couldn't get this thing to light with this uh, starter thing right here. It just wouldn't light, so I had to set it on fire and get it started. So I need to put a little lighter in here. Anyways, the whole speed to RPM thing didn't change pretty much at all. It gained a little bit of speed. Um, and also, it was a little bit more windy that day, so I think it would have gained like a little bit more. It just got up the speed so much faster. I wish I would have got it before test because I didn't see this whenever I did it the first time. I definitely would have cut the time in half because it got up on plane very quickly. I did a little overhead view of it and it was pretty insane how high it got. It just went up on plane right away. And honestly, the speed test is interesting because I added more weight to the boat. So you'd think it would go slower, but the fact that it actually gained a little bit of speed is pretty interesting. Like if I had a bigger motor on here, I'm really curious to see how, how fast it would go. My friend who was with me uh, helped me helped me drive, get up to speed and do all the tests really quick. And even he said this was insane how much of a difference it was because we did it pretty much back to back days. And also the hot dogs were really good. <laughs> That's just a little side note. Having hot dogs on a boat was really fun. But yeah, guys, I give this third pontoon the ultimate stamp of approval. I will never go back to a double pontoon after this. I will buy one of these or a tritune every single time I get a pontoon now. It made an insane difference. <laughs> like, uh, I just can't wait to get more footage of it because it was really crazy how much of a difference it made. Y'all, I love that boat so much. It is the coolest boat ever. All my friends love it. Everyone has a great time on it. It's just a ton of fun. And now it's even better because I can actually put more friends on it. I'm not done getting any more footage on it because I want to see how many people I can have on the boat. I, I have room for like 13 people on the boat. I'm curious to see how well it would do with a big number like that. I probably won't ever have 13 people on the boat, but I'd be curious to see how well it does. So I'm definitely not done getting footage of it and we'll test out this third pontoon even more and see how much it can handle. I want to give a huge thank you to Mike over at Pontoon Wholesalers, where I actually got the kit from. They were super helpful with any questions I may have. They were able to get me the right kit out in a pretty fast amount of time. And it was really cool. This whole kit was so easy. It's, I definitely recommend, if you're looking to get a, if you have a pontoon and you're looking to get a tritoon, I recommend them. They were, they were really great. Now I'm not done with this boat yet. It's not done yet. <laughs> I still got a little bit to do. I don't have a captain's chair yet. Uh, the trailer needs a little bit of work. I want to make it look a little bit better. It's pretty ugly right now. I also need to cover those bunks and the pontoon, like if I would pull the pontoon all the way up, my motor would actually hit the trailer. So I need to work on that a little bit, try to move some stuff around the, yeah, I don't want to hit my motor on it. So we're, we're almost done. It's just a little bit of stuff left. Maybe like two more episodes before I do a full price breakdown. I know that's one thing you guys are really waiting for and wanting to do, so I will do it. It's just, I wanna do it when it's done. All right, that is it. If you haven't checked me out on Instagram yet, I post a lot of behind the scenes. I post every time I go out on the boat and post some pictures of the sunsets. It's really pretty. Uh, you can check me out there if you want. If not, I will catch you guys next week. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't have it planned out yet, so uh, stay tuned.